those that believe, nothing is impossible to those who believe. Kunae katika chini ya sauti yangu anayeamini kwamba hakuna lisilo lawezekana kwa wanaoamini. And we have inherited a world. It's it's a mess. <laughs> Tume urithi ulimwengu lakini umejaa makosa. Our nations are full of so many problems. Mataifa yetu yamejaa shida. But I want to tell you something. Lakini nataka kukueleza jambo. When I stand before God in heaven, I'm not going to be ashamed of how I lived. Nitakaposimama mbele za Mungu mbinguni, sitaibika na jinsi nilivyoishi. We have to decide if we are the only one that will believe God can save a nation. We will stand. Ni lazima tuamue hata kama ni sisi pekee tunao muamini Mungu tutasimama. And every day of our life. Na kila siku ya maisha yetu. Live by faith. Ishi kwa imani. Pray the word. Ompea believe God. La Mungu. Muamini Mungu. That he can save a nation. Kwamba ataliokoa taifa. And never never give up. Na usi kate tamaa. I believe today. Ninaamini leo. The reformation is beginning. Kwamba mabadiliko yameanza. I can feel the anointing of God. Naisi upako wa Mungu. Are there any young people in the sound of my voice? Kuna vijana chini ya sauti yangu. Who will say I will be a reformer? Wanaosema nitakuwa wa kuleta mageuzo. I will not allow corruption in my nation. Sitaruhusu fisadi kwa taifa langu. I will believe God that you're going to bring us a healthy nation. Nitaamini kwamba Mungu atafanya taifa liwe na afya. I'm going to go after souls every day of my life. Nitaweza kufua nafsi kila siku ya maisha yangu. I'm going to see my nation worship you. Nitatazamia taifa langu likikuabudu. Are there any worship leaders who say I will write the songs from heaven the sound of revival? Kuna viongozi wa ibada wanaosema nitaandika nyimbo kutoka mbinguni sauti ya ufufio. Today God is marking a generation. Leo hii Mungu anatazamia kizazi. Listen to me. Nisikizeni. Let this voice and let this word go from north to south to east to west. Wacha sauti hii iende kaskazini, mashariki, magharibi na kusini. Let it go from village to village and city to city. Iende kitongoji kwenda kingine, mji kwenda mji mwingine. That Jesus is Lord over Kenya. Kwamba Yesu ni Bwana. Jesus is Lord over Kenya. Yesu ni Bwana Kenya. And we believe na tunaamini kwamba kila neno la Mungu taifa linaweza okolewa taifa linaweza pona na nataka kunena neno nanyi kutoka kwa mataifa mengine chukueni upachiko chukua upachiko peleka ma Switzerland Botswana. Kule Botswana. PNG. PNG. Listen. You just are right now I can feel the anointing. Sasa hivi naisi upako. Bishops. Maaskofu. You are born for this hour. Mulizaliwa kwa wakati kama huu. You are born for this hour. Mulizaliwa kwa lisaa hili. To be a voice. Mukafanyike sauti. God has anointed you. Mungu amewapaka. Women we are anointed. Na upako wa kweli. As Esther's. Na wa masemanzi. As Deborah's. Kama Deborah's. Young people. Vijana. Take the anointing of David. Pokeo pachiko apako wa Daudi. Be jealous to receive it. Kuana wivu kuipokea. You say this is mine. Unasema hili ni langu. This is mine. Hili ni langu. This is my time. Hili yangu na huu ni wakati wangu. This is my anointing. Huu ni upako wangu. So Father, I pray. Baba naomba. For these reformers. Kwa hawa wageuza. For the marriage of revival and reformation. Watakaolete umageuzo. The anointing to disciple nations. Upako waku. Fundisha mataifa. The anointing for miracles. Upako wa miujiza. And wonders. Na maajabu. They will open the eyes. 
kujaa juu yenu. I'm not only individuals but a blind nation that needs to see Jesus Christ. Na hata mataifa vipofu wanahitaji kumwona Yesu. Let's raise our hands. Hebu tuinue mikono yetu. Now Holy Spirit. Roho mtakatifu. Right now. Sasa hivi. Let the anointing fall. Wacha upako ushuke. The anointing fall. Upako na ushuke. To heal nations. Uponya mataifa. Let the anointing fall. Upako na ushuke. Be a voice. Kufanyika sauti. And Lord now let faith come. Na sasa hivi imani ije. Let faith come. Imani na ije. Let the church be the church. Kanisa lifanyike kanisa. Let the ecclesia na muunganiko wa kanisa arise ukainuke raise up new generation leaders muondoko na muinuko wa viongozi wa kanisa wapya katika jina la Yesu amen amen thank you jesus asante if you would be seated just a minute more unaweza kaa kwa dakika zaidi i feel that we need to sow into this message Naisi kwamba tunahitaji tukatoe kwa ajili ya ujumbe huu. Mike and I are going to sow into this message. Uh, Mike na mimi tutaweza Nataka kuwa changamoto. If you are going to be a leader. Kama utakuwa kiongozi. If you're going to be one that heals nations. Kama utakuwa mmoja anayeponya mataifa. Must be a giver. Ni lazima uwe mtoaji. You must learn how to give. Lazima ujifundishe jinsi ya kutoa. Whenever I mentor leaders, wakati ninapowafundisha viongozi, before I have them do anything with us, kabla niwaruhusu kufanya chochote nasi, I watch them. Ninawatazama. Are they the first ones to give? Wao ndio wa kwanza kutoa. Do they give sacrificially? Wanatoa jinsi ya kugaramika. You see because where your tra- your treasure is that's where your heart is. Kwa sababu mahala moyo wako udhamana wako upo hapo ndipo moyo wako huko. My generation has been saying things about the next generation like they don't know how to give. Kizazi changu kimekuwa kikizungumzia kizazi kingine kwamba hawajui jinsi ya kutoa. But I don't believe that's right. Lakini siamini kwamba hilo ni kweli. I believe the next generation. Ninaamini katika kizazi kinachokuja. We'll be the biggest givers. Kwamba watakuwa watu wa kutoa wakuu. I believe the next generation. Ninaamini katika kizazi kipya. Not only will fight human trafficking. Kwamba watapiga tu jinsi ya kuwauza wanadamu. Bring justice where there's injustice. Kwa ambao watainuka kinyume na wasiofanya haki. We have to fight for justice. Ni lazima tupiganie haki. We have to see the marriage of righteousness and justice. Ni lazima tuone uunganiko wa haki na kuweza kufanya inapofaa. But I'm going to challenge you. Lakini nataka kutoa changamoto kwako. If you need an offering envelope raise your hand. Kama unata, uko na sadaka. Oh, they're going to put on the screen how you can give. Nataka uweze kuinua mkono wako na naomba muweke kwa runinga jinsi ya kutoa. Nataka kutoa changamoto kwa kila mmoja. To sow into this word. Wakaweze kutoa katika kazi hii. And because what you sow into is what you believe. Na kile unachopanda kinaonesha vile unavyoamini. You know I can't believe that some people they they don't understand sowing. Unajua sielewi kwamba kuna watu hata waelewi kupanda ni nini. We recently had our Deborah's conference. Juzi tumekuwa na kongamano letu la wa Deborah. Dallas, Texas. Kule Dallas, Texas. And usually the first night's offering pays our bills. Na imekuwa hivi kwamba sadaka ya jioni ya kwanza inalipa gharama zetu zote. But then this beautiful Excellency on the front row here are be my beautiful friend. <laughs> na naona jinsi ya msimamo wa aki na kujitolea na kufanya inavyofaa kwa mama yetu hapa mbele. She shared about mama doing good and she convicted me. <laughs> Alisha, alishiriki na mimi kuhusu mama and uh, doing good na kanihusisha. So we gave our first night's offering. Na hivyo tukatoa sadaka yetu. For mama doing good. Ya kwanza kwa mama doing good. And we're going to give more. That was just the beginning. Na tutatoa zaidi huo ni mwanzo tu. I love you my friend. Na kupenda rafiki yangu. And I want to say. Na nataka kusema. Can we do something historic? Tunaweza fanya kitu cha kihistoria. I want to challenge the bishops. Nataka kutoa changamoto kwa maaskofu. So into this word. Muweze ku panda katika kazi hii. So a significant gift. Na upande kipawa kikuu. 
I don't every month our ministry ties kila mwezi huduma yetu inatoa fungu la 10 to other ministries kwa huduma zingine and every year we increase the amount we're tithing to other ministries na kila mwaka tunaongeza fungu letu kwa huduma zingine you see if we only give to our own church our own works that's sectarian unajua kama tunatoa tu kwa kazi zetu kwa huduma zetu hiyo aina undani we need to sow to other works ni lazima tukapande katika kazi zingine one time wakati mmoja mike and i were in a terrible financial problem mike na mimi tulikuwa tunapitia changamoto kubwa ya kipela we had television bills that were just chasing us tulikuwa na a bills za runinga zilikuwa zinatukimbiza we just every month we were behind kila mwezi tulikuwa hatujafikia and uh, one day our accountant called me and said we need $50,000 by monday this was on friday na wakati mmoja ikasemekana kwamba tunahitajika 1050 dola 1050 and we were in the middle of a family crisis na tulikuwa na changamoto ya kifamilia my mother was very aged and very feeble mama yangu alikuwa amezeeka na dhaifu and uh, So we had to drive from Dallas to San Antonio about four and a half hours. We had to go pick her up to bring her to Ilibidi, be with us. Tutoke mahali tunapokaa Dallas twende mpaka huo mji tukaweze kumfikia na kumpokea. So I we didn't have any way to raise money. Na hatukuwa na njia yoyote ya kupata hela. We had to honor our mother first. Na ilibidi kwamba kwanza tumheshimu mama yetu. And so you know when the accountant called and said I We have to pay these bills on Monday. Na wakati wa kazina walipiga simu wakasema tunahitaji tulipe hizi uh, gharama ambazo hatujashughulikia. We have to pay our staff on Monday. Ni lazima tulipe wafanyikazi wetu. And so Mike and I knelt down in the hotel right by our bed. Na Mike pamoja nami tukapiga magoti mahali pale tulipokuwa. And we just started pouring out our heart to the Lord. Katika ile hoteli tukaanza ku tiririsha mioyo yetu mbele za Mungu. We needed a word. Tulihitaji kufanya kazi. And this is what God said. Na hivi ndivyo Mungu alisema. I want you to give away everything in the ministry's bank account to other ministries. Nataka mtoe kila kitu chote mko nacho katika uh, azina yenu kwa huduma zingine. Everything until nothing's left. Na mtoe yote msibakishe chochote. And so we did. Na hivyo tukatoa. It was actually really fun. <laughs> na uh, ilikuwa ajabu. We started calling different friends and saying kupi... we're sending you whatever thousands. Tukaanza kupigia marafiki tofauti na sema tunakutumia hizi haya maelfu. Finally I asked our staff did we give away every penny everything. Kisha baadaye nikauliza tumetoa kila kitu. And I said they said yes. Na wakaniambia ndio. I said well let's see what God will do. Nikasema basi sasa tutazame tuone kile Mungu atafanya. Monday came. Jumatatu ikaja. We put mama in the car. <laughs> we were driving back to Dallas. Tunahitaji kuendesha gari kuelekea kule kwa kazi. We done everything we know to do. Tulifanya kila kitu chote tunajua kufanya. I received a phone call. Nikapokea simu. You know Cindy? I I was thinking about you over the weekend. Cindy Waj- Mike. Wajua Cindy nilikuwa nawafikiri ukiwa na Mike. And the Lord spoke to me that you need $50,000. Na Bwana akaniambia kwamba mnahitaji 1000 dola 1050. We hadn't told anyone. Na hatukwa tumemweleza yoyote. And that day we paid every bill. Na siku hiyo tukalipa bills zetu zote. So maybe you have a need. Labda uko na hitaji. I want to encourage you. Nataka kukutia nguvu. Sacrifice release the spiritual power kugaramika kumtolea Mungu inaachilia nguvu za kiroho the principle of sacrificing kanuni ya kumtolea Mungu the principle of do you know the word reciprocity uh, it means like if you give something comes back to you ah uh, ile neno la ku unapotoa utarejeshewa given it shall be given to you toa na itarejeshwa kwako reciprocal ile hali ya mabadilishano If you obey God's word unapotii neno la Mungu then he can supernaturally provide naye ataweza kuku 
fikia na kupatia kwa njia za kiungu now i'm going to pray for you to have faith to give na hivyo nataka kukuombea uwe na imani ya kutoa. Nataka kutoa changamoto kwa vijana. Toa kitu. Na kama hauna chochote muulize rafiki yako akupee hela. Na ama uwaulize wazazi wako akupatie hela. Christ Foundation's Bible School the students always owe us Papa Mike for money. <laughs> At Christ for Nations Bible School the Bible uh, school students always ask Mike for money. <laughs> wanafunzi wa chuo wakati wote naona wakati mwingine wetu wakimuuliza Mike hela. Mike's got a lot of seed in heaven. Mike amepanda mbegu nyingi kwa ile shule. <laughs> so I'm going to pray for you it takes faith to give. Nataka kukuombea inachukua imani kutoa. Does anyone else need an offering envelope? Kuna mtu yote anahitaji bahasha ya sadaka. Sometimes I gave a pencil for my purse or something I had nothing to give you know but I just gave something Wakati mwingine natoa hata wakati natoa kalamu ile iko kwa pochi langu natoa lazima nitoe kitu Amen let's raise our hands so we can Just pray lift your offering envelope if you have it Inua sadaka yako kama uko nayo Your phone if you gave by phone Hata kama umetoa na simu inua hiyo simu Lord I just bless these offerings. Bwana anabariki sadaka hizi. This is a hundredfold offering. Hii ni sadaka ya 100. I have faith. Nina imani. That what they're sowing. Kwamba wanachopanda. Many out of their own need. Bwana wengine wanatoa katika mahitaji yao. I want to pray for those watching on the live stream. Naombea wanaotazama kupitia kwa mitandao. Get in on this giving wapate kupitia utoaji Don't let this moment pass. Usiruhusu anga hii kupita. Usiruhusu wakati huu kupita bila kupanda. Kuna wakati wa kupanda na wakati wa kuvuna. And this is the time for sowing. Na huu ni wakati wa kupanda. Amen. Amen. You can bring your offering up to the front if you want or they'll collect it. Come get. Naomba uweze kuleta sadaka yako hapa mbele kama unayo songea mbele ulete kikundi cha ibada tafadhali Do you have a song for us? Una wimbo kwetu. <laughs> Come on beautiful singers. <laughs> Karibieni waimbaji wanaopendeza. Let's sing something happy. Tuweze kutoa wimbo wa furaha. I love you all. Thank you for giving. Na wapenda nyote asanteni kwa kutoa. Asante. Amen. Amen.
service are we blessed? Isn't Kenya so blessed? That is a serious prophet word from the Lord. Can we appreciate God for Prophet Cindy? For that great word for Kenya. You, you see, some of you want to be prophesied that you are going to go to live in America, live in Malaysia, live in China, but God is making Kenya great. Maybe First Lady will help us and Thank bring new people in later. later what we'll All these people don't believe in these prophecies. Our two water, our I said God has spoken that churches are becoming great places. Preachers are becoming great preachers. Fellowships are rising. The nation is becoming fertile. Kenya will be a great nation among the nations. In education. Did you see, I think three days ago, our president was launching a new level of education in Kenya. And the prophet says Kenya is going to become a great nation. Wapi shangwe. And he says science. Science. Science is going to become a factor in this country. Research. Entrepreneurship. Productivity. Uh, now, now, the prophet did not know one of the bishops was in a meeting this morning in the ministry of health. And the prayer was to pray that God will touch the health sectors and the water of this country. Okay. We must pray one prayer. God, take, take these people to heaven and give us new people. <laughs> because that's what I'm seeing here. But we want Kenya. to stay here in Nairobi. In Kenya. And in Kenya. So if you're one like me, Come on, let's appreciate for that amazing prophecy about our water, about our health, about our education, about our resources, and about corruption. A Muslim today wrote in the newspaper that if President Ruto can start talking about anti-corruption, Kenya will go up 80%. And how many of you know that our president is decided to fight the thieves? Kenya will grow whether they like it or not. And that dark crowd, we are defeating it in the name of Jesus. Darkness will not be over this land, over our politics, over our economy, over our education, over our factories, over our productivity. If you believe, lift your hand and say, Lord, help us, our nation. Help our nation. Help our nation and receive that prophecy in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me ask the Bishop Njau to come here and pray for the offerings. Though the prophet already prayed, but I want you to come and pray for the offerings. Uh, our bishop said that the bishops are fat because they have offerings. So, <laughs> so when you're, it's a good thing to be a bishop. <laughs> Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the prophecy that has been given for this nation. We see a turnaround. We see a reset of this country. We see the economy of this country growing and growing, expanding, 
And as we have been told today, Na vile leo, Kenya is going to be a model nation Kenya in Africa, Africa and in the world. Na nzima. We thank you, Lord, even for the leaders that you have given us. Kwa for His kupa. Excellence, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William, Samoy William Samoy Ruto, 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 and his wife, Na yake, and all the children, Na the family wake, members, na yake, the cabinet, na waziri, and everybody working in this government. Na kila kazi kwa and just as the president said yesterday, na jana, he is ready ako tayari, to fight corruption na and to fight thieves. Na na we pray Tuna for boldness, ujasiri, for courage, na ujasiri, for wisdom, na ekima, for protection, na ulinzi, for wisdom, na ekima, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray Baba tunomba, judiciary uh, mahakama, for a judiciary. Mahakama yetu, they shall be firm na msimamo, and they shall take a stand na against every evil na maomu, in the nation of Kenya. Taifa la Kenya because Kenya, kwa Kenya is lifted by righteousness kwa haki, because righteousness kwa haki, exalts a nation. Taifa. So Kenya, kwa Kenya is exalted in Jesus' mighty name. Now Father we thank you for the offering that we have given which is prophetic. Every ministry Every family, familia, every individual wezu, that has given this prophetic seed, we pray mwombea, for increase, upanuzi, for prosperity, upanisi, for wealth, mali, in Jesus' mighty name. La Yesu and Father, na baba, bless our waters. Maji yetu. Bless our waters. Maji yetu. Bless our waters. Maji yetu. In the name of Jesus, Jina la Yesu. we thank you and we bless you. Na in Jesus' mighty Jina name we pray. La Yesu Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you so much, Bishop. Let's appreciate Bishop Njau. That is chairman of EAK. Nairobi. Nairobi. Please be seated. Uh, just one announcement. Our last speaker is already in town. Our father, our pastor, Robert Kayanja, is already in town. Robert Kayanja, already in town. And he has come with a double story anointing for Kenya. And so we must come and take all that anointing. So tonight, if you have anybody who is sick, he has been running the largest, the longest running revival in Africa, seven years. 77 days of glory in Uganda. Hundreds of thousands have been converted. Cripples have walked. The nation has shifted in prayer, Maombi, in loving God mungu, and in trusting God. Mungu. Actually, Uganda has revived. Ata Uganda yeah, because of this revival. Kwa ya huo. So, tonight, kwa hivyo, leo, you have him first hand. Na e moja kwa moja. He's a man of God's word. Ni mutu wa neno la mungu. I've been with him for 35 years. Pamoja na e miaka and I've not missed one day seeing miracles. Ata siku moja kuona so, tonight, kwa hivyo, siku leo, by the grace of God, he will be with us. Somebody clap your hands for that. Man. Uh, also, the summit is going to be launched officially in the next 45 minutes, one hour. So we are going to give you a convenience time of 45 minutes. Convenience time of 45 minutes. In after 45 minutes, we are going to start the procession for our official launching of this conference. And it's going to be wonderful. But I have my reverend here Lakini na kasisi wangu hapa. who knows where we, are, we need to go for the next 45 minutes Kwa hizi from tano. Express Worship Center, Kwa our host, Express Reverend Center, Chris, host. come and tell us how convenience is convenience. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Let's wave in the air. The prophecy has come that our water will be healed. So enjoy the water during this lunch hour. Amen. My, uh, my announcement is very important. Because if you miss it, Because if you miss Ukikosa, my announcement, hili, you will not eat. Hautakula. So, number one, ya kwanza, uh, we are 47 counties tuko gatuzi and during the official uh, launch of the inauguration of the conference, of the summit, rasmi, we will have all 47 counties na zote na saba, represented. Ziki and so, na kwa hivo, I need one representative from every moja county. Kutoka kila I will be right there. Nitakuwa pale. When you come, Ukija, uh, uh, give me your name nipe jina lako, and I will tell you what to do uh, in the afternoon. Chana. Number two, ya pili, uh, we, we, we have food tunachakula, for everybody. Ya kila mtu. Yes, uh, we have food for everybody. Tuna ya kila mtu. And enough even to feed the people you left at home. Na watu wa <laughs> the difference is the access. Tu ni kupata. There is food. Kuna chakula ndiyo. You can access very cheaply. Utaipata kwa bei raisi. It is subsidized. Imepunguzwa bei. It is in the tents, the tents Kuna there. Mahema pale. You can buy even using Fuliza. Unaweza nunua hata ukifuliza. Fuliza can buy you a lot of food Fuliza there. Fuliza itakunulia chakula nyingi pale. So <laughs> Uh, everybody has access. Kila mtu there's no gate, there's no door. Mlango, there's no security akuna, man akuna to stop you from accessing that food. Eat as much as your fuliza can push Kula zaidi ya fuliza yako. Limit. Then there is food Alafu kuna for the pastors, the bishops.